Hey guys, another weird view uh, that you're getting here. Um, so I redid my bookshelves again. Um, and when I redid them this time, I tried to think of more creative ways to store some of my books because <laughs> I ordered more. It's a problem. Um, but I didn't want to uh, put my books in this little cubby at the bottom of my other bookshelf because then I forget they're down there and that's very sad. I like to see them, you know, and have easy access to them. Um, so I separated all of my classics or what I consider kind of classics. Um, and I kind of made this little artful uh, stack them here and I put my wedding rubber duckies on them. It's art, okay. So um, I figured I'm still trying to work out how exactly to do a full blown bookshelf tour. Um, the editing probably won't end up being a problem because I'm going to be taught how to edit stuff. So that, I mean, it'll be frustrating, but it won't be like terrible. Uh, my main problem would be, how do I hold this damn laptop? Because, I mean, it's a small laptop, but it's still a friggin' laptop. And how do I hold it without shaking it, like, all over the damn place uh, while I'm trying to show you everything? Um, I have a camera, but I don't have a tripod. Um, and, yeah, I honestly don't even know if I have enough memory on the <laughs> stupid memory card. And so. Um, we'll see. We'll see how that works out. Anyway, I thought that I could do a mini tour of my classic books, I guess. <laughs> so, um, this big old stack here, let's do it. Um, to start off with, I have Mythology by Edith Hamilton. Um, this was actually a college textbook but I kept it because I like mythology, so, okay. Um, next up, we have a copy of A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens, which is one of my favorite books ever. Then we have Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury, which is awesome if you haven't read it. Then I have the Sherlock Holmes Handbook. Um, I just basically have this here because it's related to Sherlock Holmes. Um, it is the Methods and Mysteries of the World's Greatest Detective, and this was actually written by Ransom Rakes. And it's just this really, it really is this cool handbook. It's like how to question a suspect, um, how to do a cipher. Um, there's a really cool one, how to examine a body at the crime scene. Identifying fingerprints, it's just, it's really cool. I mean, it might not be really useful out in the real world, but um, as someone who really likes Sherlock Holmes, it's it's really cool. Uh, next up is Don Quixote by Miguel de Cervantes. Um, this is, I have like two antique books. Um, they're like really old books, and this is one of them, and so I'm, I try to be very, very, very careful with it, um, but this is a book that I haven't read yet, and I really, really need to get reading. Um, then we have Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm by uh, Kate Douglas Wiggin, and this is the Shirley Temple movie version. I found this at secondhand shop it's got like pictures from the old movie it's really cool um let's see then there is farmer boy by laura ingalls wilder this is um about her husband almonzo when he was a kid right up at a farm in new york they have the westing game by alan raskin this is the deluxe anniversary edition that I found online, which has like, 
the original like covers and like info about like all her notes for the book. I don't know. I this is like one of my favorite books ever. So I'm a nerd for that. Um da -da -da. then we have Silas Marner and Two Short Stories by George Eliot. The Complete Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. We have volume one and volume two. Um, I counted this as a classic just because it's like based off of Pride and Prejudice are in that kind of universe, but it is Longborn and it's by Joe Baker. I have not read this yet. So that I also need to read this year. Uh, then we have Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen. Love in the Time of Cholera by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. I also have to read this. Oh, the bane of my existence that I have to read. The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexandre Dumas. And then I've got The World's Best Fairy Tales. This is a collection by Reader's Digest. I've had this literally since I was born. Um, and I really like that it makes like a little thing. But yeah, so they're just two of the same. It's, I love these. Um, I have another copy of Christmas Carol. Um, that was everything falling over. That was good. Um, yeah, I have another copy of Christmas Carol because, as a rule, I usually don't buy more than one copy. But I broke that rule for that one because it's one of my favorite books, and I don't have to explain. Okay. <laughs> um, then we have The Secret Garden by Frances Hudson Burnett. The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea by Jules Verne. The Oz Chronicles by L. Frank Baum. And this is the first one, two, three, four, seven um, Oz books. So it's the. Uh, let's see. One day I would like to try to find the others. But it's The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, Marvelous Land of Oz, Ozma of Oz, Dorothy and the Wizard in Oz, Road to Oz, The Emerald City of Oz, and The Patchwork Girl of Oz. And then the last book in my stack is Around the World in 80 Days by Jules Verne. So that is my little, my little classics area that I've now made a giant mess out of. Um, so, yeah. I organized that today because I felt like it and I needed to make room um, for my crazy book buying problem. Um, so yeah, so that is that. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to figure out how to make it easier for having like an actual full-blown book tour um so i'm gonna work that out i'm not sure how that's gonna go but we shall see um hopefully i'll be able to figure it out and then i can show you my other lovely books um i have uh, this is my main shelf that you see me in front of all the time. I have a skinnier shelf in my um, bedroom, so I would have to figure out those two because it's two shelf deal. Um, and other than that, uh, the other bookshelf I have um, is a cookbook shelf, actually. Um, so. If that was something that you would be interested in seeing, um, I can definitely do that. Um, I don't know if that is something that would interest anyone, um, but if it would, let me know. Um, and I will 
consider possibly doing a a tour of cookbooks, I guess. Uh, but yeah, that is that. And um, now I'm gonna actually try to do reading. <laughs> so um, have a good night. Have a good weekend. Um, it's gonna snow by us, maybe. So crap. <laughs> but I hope um, that your weekend is good and you're able to get out um, and enjoy some good weather, hopefully. Um, you know, socially distant, but still getting some fresh air. So, um, 